Hey there. Now, before you click off this video, I want to ask you a very simple question. And that question is, if, if you were to take everything you've ever done on the internet, and you were to stack them up, and you were to look at them, and then you were to ask a simple question, how many of these activities, these, these tasks, these things I'm doing, how many of them are repetitive? And you, you probably come up with, with, with like, you probably say, you know, like half of them or probably even a little bit higher than that. But I would go so, so far as to say it's 99%, 99.99%. And, and, and really since, since the beginning of the internet, uh, we've all had these, these, these very uh, bloated and, and repetitive interfaces that have just like it, the interfaces for, for the past 20 years have just been just been like eagerly waiting to are just passive passive interfaces with nothing like 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 now on the internet like i have to like actually like click things and like 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 nothing is happening if you don't do it the internet is just the static ancient system that has worked well for you know like 20 or so years to like look up information and store information but now if you really want to do something with that information and create something then you're going to need something a little bit more fluid and and intuitive and uh, i mean just think about it if you were to say, if 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 you were to take out all the time you've you you have left on this planet and and you were to ask yourself would i want to spend my time doing something that is repetitive or doing something that someone has never, ever, ever, ever done before. I don't know about you, but I, I choose I choose the second one. And 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 essentially, like like if if the internet doesn't shape up in a way that is more that aligns more with who you are and what you're trying to create, then you're going to just keep wasting hundreds, if not thousands, of hours on the internet just clicking buttons, typing things, like like no this is not this the, the real world is not this static the real world is is fluid responsive dynamic and so like like w w really ask yourself what i do i want to spend the rest of my life or like do i want to just like waste this year on just repetitive activities it's it's the 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 internet now as we're seeing, as you've probably seen with all these these new AI tools, the, the 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 internet is starting to become intelligent and intuitive and responsive and dynamic and polymorphic, meaning it shapes to your goals and to who you are. And now it is time that the internet does become responsive and dynamic and does what you tell it, not what you tell it to click and how you tell it to navigate, like navigating a treacherous territory in, in a website and doing things of that nature. Uh, for example, let me show you uh, Athena. I originally created Athena to help me navigate this extremely repetitive landscape that I noticed I was spending all of my time on. And to be quite honest with you, I never wanted to, to really spend my time on repetitive things. I wanted to help people. I wanted to create something. I wanted to do things that has never been done before. Um, so this is Athena. Uh, with Athena, you can simply automate anything. You can simply automate any workflow on the web with simple language. So you give Athena uh, just like, you know, like a, a workflow you want to automate. And then she's going to go in and she's going to help you automate that workflow. And with Athena, not only is the internet just like this response, uh, this, this static treacherous landscape that you need to know exactly how to navigate. Otherwise you're not going to get anything done. Now you have a real time collaborative intelligence by your side that is helping the internet become more dynamic and more fluid and more responsive to who you are are and what you want to create this brothers and sisters is the future of the internet long has the time passed 
for us to to waste our time on anything that is repetitive. We should not be spending any of our time on things that are repetitive because it's simply repetitive. We should be doing things that have never been done before. Um, here's another example of, of me um, uh, create a new task uh, saying um, create new demo video. This one might not be good for some people, I, I, I guess. So yeah, this is Athena. Athena helps you automate any dynamic uh, workflow task activity in any of your most used uh, web applications uh, APIs and websites and 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 like 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 just think about it like think of how much time think about saving 99% of the, the 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 time you spend on the internet and then just redistributing that time back into things that you actually want to spend your time on like if if you if you're a marketer then 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 finding new uh, ways to talk to your customer if you're a programmer then f uh, creating new programs it, what it is that you're trying to create is is fundamentally Athena's goal to help you create Athena's goal purpose is to help you create what it is you want to create without any obstacles without any shortcomings without anything in your way without any repetitive activity without any repetitive button or click or form to submit again and again and again and, again and then for the rest of time. Uh, this has been Athena. Uh, sign up now.